Hi guys, it's Julia again. So it's currently the beginning of December, which means that Billie Eilish's interview came out, the one that she does every year with Vanity Fair. So I thought it'd be kind of fun if I just like pretended I was like a cool famous pop star and did my own version that I can repeat every year because we love self growth, don't we? Obviously I had to change a lot of the questions because I'm not a famous pop star, so like what was like my biggest concert does not make any sense for me. But I linked the original videos down below, so feel free to watch those if you have no idea what I'm talking about or if you just want to watch Billy because she's, she's a really cool. So firstly, I'm Julia. It is December 1st, 2020, and I am 19 years old. I'm honestly not expecting this number to go up anymore, like ever in my life, but I currently have 1,620 followers. <laughs> I think you only really get anything if you look up my name and then where I work or where I went to high school, because I'm in some of those articles. But other than that, zero. The one I just posted of me in my new sweater. Oh, and that has 391 likes, Suzelle Torres. She has 107,000 followers. I did backup dance gig for her. So that is why. And she'd probably also be the most famous person in my phone. <laughs> most people I've performed in front of is kind of tricky because I'd say the most people that I've performed in front of like kind of because of me would be my like studios June shows which has like 800 people but the most people I've like actually performed in front of would probably be when I did VidCon backup dancing and I've no idea how many people were like at that event because at VidCon you don't like sign up for events you kind of just go to whatever you want to go to so I don't know how many people were there but the footage of me dancing is in a vlog that has 52,000 views. So maybe we could call it 52,000 people. <gasps> when in reality, it's like probably like 800. But, <laughs> oh, I performed in front of just 50,000 people. <laughs> that VidCon performance was really fun because it was my first and only professional gig I've done. Or I have to say probably my last show I had with my studio, which was junior year, because the whole time I was crying about how it was my second to last show. And it ended up being my last because of Corona. So I'm really grateful that I got so nostalgic during that show. Um, never. One time, Someone thought I was a famous YouTuber and asked for a photo with me and I just went with it. So once in my life, um, oh, or another time, a girl at my school who watches my channel, shout out if you're watching this, you probably know who you are. She saw me at a restaurant and was like, hey girl, love your channel. We went to school together, so I don't know if that's like really getting recognized. Stop thinking through everything and just do it. It's obviously good to like have a plan going into things, but I think I'm at the point where I just think way too hard about what every single thing I'm doing is gonna mean in the far future when like, I don't think eating a banana on 8 a.m. on a Thursday will really have that great of a impact on my retirement plan. Stop freaking out so much about the college process. You always end up where you're meant to be. You can control how all you do in the room, you can control what you turn in, but you can't control how the people respond to it or whether they give you acceptances or not. So you might as well just forget it ever happened. Probably nothing. I'm 19 and I just started. So maybe getting into college for dance? <laughs> I don't know. Hopefully I have something exciting that's happening next year. That would be that would be pretty cool. Oh, probably um, the Dance Academy movie, I think it's called The Comeback or something like that, is 
so good. I love Dance Academy because it's so cringy and horrible and so like stereotypical. Like everything that happens, you're like, yeah, I knew that was gonna happen before it even happened, but I love it because it's one of those things that you can kind of just turn on and like do other things, but watch it at the same time. You know, you don't really need to like pay attention. And I love that about it. Just like not believing that I deserve what I've gotten. I think in the past I've gotten a lot of things that I really didn't feel like I deserved to get. And I kind of just felt guilty about them and didn't do my best instead of just accepting that I got them and doing my best with them. That's really cryptic and weird, but that's what I have to say. Literally just do what you want and stop caring what other people are thinking, unless it's something that's um, like harming others. You know, don't, don't be mean to people and stuff. But I think a thing that I've realized is like, I know this is like the thing every single high schooler learns, but I graduated high school and there's so many people that I don't even remember their name and probably like two years ago I wouldn't do something that I think is fun because I would think that that one specific person or that one specific group of people are like gonna think weird of me and now a lot of those people that I'm like was so scared of uh, I just unfollowed them on Instagram oh I have so many being in isolation it has made me think about everywhere else I want to be other than where I am right now. Except for I actually really love where I live. A lot. But, I really want to go to, I have a whole list on my wall. First up, Portland, Oregon. I want to go so bad. I also really want to go to Toronto. I feel like this one changes all the time, but kind of also not. Right now, my favorite artist is Rex Orange County because he just broke up with his girlfriend. So I've been kind of listening to all his songs and mourning their relationship. And I'm kind of like emotionally preparing myself for the huge breakup album that's coming out. I guess I also have to say Billie Eilish because I'm literally recreating something that she's a part of. I would say very situationally specific. I kind of just dress in whatever I think will please whoever I'm hanging out with which isn't good. And it was kind of why I dress so drastically differently depending on the event. But yes. Still trying to figure out like what I want to look like. <laughs> I hope you're happy with what you're doing. I hope you feel accomplished. I hope you're with a really great group of people. I hope COVID is not happening anymore. And I hope you're just confident. And you're fine expressing your confidence. You don't feel like you have to pretend you're not or pretend you are. I hope you're just yourself in every situation and you just go with it. So that was my Billie Eilish Vanity Fair repeated interview questions year one. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you come back in a year to see what I had to say. I hope you liked my incense burning. And if you liked this video, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And also show this to all your friends, but people who don't know me in real life. And go follow me on Instagram. And subscribe, subscribe. I posted my last video and I lost subscribers. So subscribe. I will see you next week, probably. Peace out. Bye.